hello everybody and happy friday welcome to yet another weekly walkthrough today we will be looking at uh six six thousand five hundred and ninety one uh six five nine one brown's line in angus now angus is close enough to bury that might as well cover it it's a good area um raised bungalow you've got a total of two bedrooms up two bedrooms down uh two total bathrooms i'm assuming both are full and one kitchen list price is 840 it has been on the market for i think 26 days but it went off the market recently and then came back on we'll check out why uh as we look through it before we get into it though if you could head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content and hit that like button as well because i mean do you even need a reason at this point it helps so 6591 brown's line uh first and foremost listed by the ferris team so there's that let's see the five reasons that they give us why we should love this home uh well-maintained bungalow low traffic street sure main level hosts two large bedrooms kitchen addition okay fully finished basement two bedrooms three-piece bath large family room okay reshingled in 2022 that's great updated furnace in 2021 also great uh do they have central air uh they do so what i would be curious about is if the furnace was updated in 2021 was the ac updated as well um because that might be something that you have to look to replace uh, the house was built in 1988, according to, well, other, I'm assuming that the buyer or the seller, sorry, just said when it was built, you're on septic, you are on a sand point. Well, I might go into wells at some point just to explain them. Cause there are different types of wells. Uh, they're not just holes with water, but yeah, we are 839. Why a why? Did we uh, come off the market? Well, we were 889 for 23 days and obviously didn't sell. Usually means your price too high. So knock it down 50 grand and see how she goes. First and foremost, yards big. Um, looks pretty awesome. That looks like a throughway, which you can keep it open if you want. I'd have a tendency to want to close that in myself. Huge area for parking. If you complain about not having enough spaces to put your boat, your RV, your company, anything like that, I'm calling you out. More outside. Okay, it's not a three-way. It just looked that way based off of uh, the photo. So never mind. This is awesome. Right inside, you can see raised bungalow. I often uh, confuse this particular layout with like a side split because technically you walk in, splits off to the side, but because this isn't a full level here, it's actually just a raised bungalow. So this would be your front door. I say as I double check, I think that's got the same pattern. Front door is probably a back door right behind the photographer here. Um, head up, nice little living area. Holy bright kitchen, Batman, that looks awesome. Speaking of, that must be the added uh, cabinets and things that they put in. But this is really cool. That's like a little coffee bar or, you know, little wine bar, whatever you wanna make there. That's really cool. Sink looks awesome. Nice California shutters. It's just bright. It's nice. It does feel a little, so this makes it feel huge. This photo here feels smaller here, right? But you do got to keep in mind, you have the extra space over here. You can have the help in the kitchen. You can have someone, you know, prepping something over there, toss it over here for you to, you know, do whatever with. Holder for a microwave. Okay. Uh, 
decent little space. Obviously, they had to stop this short of the back, the side door. Hold on. Come in the front. I think that is the side of the house. It might be. We'll see. Um, rest of the house might be a little dated. Just kind of feel that way from the floor. And the furniture does look a little bit older. Paint color, though. Nice, bright choice. Beautiful big windows. And then living area. You could, well, if you want to keep the dining room as a dining room, then obviously don't change anything. Uh, but you would have the option or the opportunity to, like, take this back to wherever the kitchen is. Um, and then just kind of open up this space. You could also, now this is obviously getting into like major renos, essentially move this stuff out of there and probably either put like the fridge against this wall or maybe you even extend it into here, but then create like an island here. Then you would have to put your TV probably on this wall um you'd sacrifice a couch so maybe it might not be the best idea um but it could be cool but nothing wrong with the layout that they have right now not a whole lot of width to the room itself uh you yeah so you get your two chairs or you get a love seat in there probably a decent sectional here as well um but that's pretty much it you could slap a coffee table down if you wanted to but not a big one by any means Bedroom one, decent size. Uh, that's probably a king size bed. If that's a queen, you've got some problems. But nightstand on either side. How much more room do you need? And then this room has to be the master, right? Just looks bigger, brighter. You do have attic access directly in the room, which is nice. You're not climbing into a closet to get up there. Uh, nice updated bathroom and then into the basement very bright not sure if it's just the photos um, but it does seem bright nice colors the windows would be a decent size in a raised bungalow all carpet which you know six one half dozen the other some people don't mind it some people hate carpet but it looks well maintained and there are those massive windows that mentioned before. Probably your electrical panel in behind this uh, very inconspicuous <laughs> board. Where's that hardwood? So couch is there. That table's there. Oh, I don't know. One of your bedrooms down in the basement. This would be your other bedroom. Looks like they've got a freezer in there as well as a torture device. Uh, <laughs> not actually, but. Bathroom downstairs. Looks fine. Nothing super modern, nor is it super outdated. Uh, but you've got your three piece as advertised. Laundry room. Good amount of space, quite honestly. Um, you've got a good amount of storage. You've got your laundry tub, washer dryer, or washer dryer, and the hookup looks relatively modern, so that's awesome. And then it was side yard, so your kitchen is right in here. I'd probably want to put a set of stairs off the back here personally but nice little gazebo stairs down to the side yard backyard yeah so your only exit to the backyard is through the uh vestibule in the entrance which is why i would be tempted to put stairs down here um just to you know if you're in the kitchen you can come down instead of having to walk through uh the other area of the house 
entrance into the garage from here is nice. You can just use it as storage, keep your lawnmower and stuff in there, and then just pull it out. You don't need a shed, but you certainly got space for sheds. Uh, your yard's huge here. Um, doo -doo. Another cool thing that you can do with this particular layout is... Okay, so that might be why they're having some issue selling it. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but if this is farmland or you got a lot of noise going on, it might be why... Oh, no, storage. Storage containers and everything. So you're right there. Interesting. It might just be the location then that's kind of holding it back a bit. Now... What you can do in a place like this, if you wanted to, is essentially you end up like sealing off this area here. You create an apartment in the basement and an apartment on the main floor, and you create a duplex. Whether that's allowed in the zoning or not, I don't know. I haven't looked it up, um, but that's just something that could be done. Also, I'm sorry if you hear that noise in the background. <laughs> Our cleaner is here. Um, but yeah. So that's 6591 Browns. You got 2416 for your taxes back in 2022. Currently listed at 840. I think it's a cool house. Um, might be slightly too high still. You're probably looking at an eight though. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go for like 800,000, maybe a, just a hair under, um, but somewhere around eight definitely makes sense to me. What else we got? So 88, Port Concrete. Driving out the wazoo, or driveway rather. They don't have the map for us, of course. So let's actually... So Browns... Yeah, so you've got your self-storage. Browns... So you're right off 10... Close to a secondary school, close to a cemetery. Well, close-ish. It's not like you back onto it, but location-wise, like it's not bad. You got Giant Tiger, a couple things just down the road, not far away. Main strip of Angus, just kind of, yeah, I don't know. Location's fine. I think this getting past the fact that you're like, almost in the middle of the self-storage would be the biggest kind of difficulty here because like you are <laughs> nestled in there with a with a couple other houses but you do have a good amount of space how much space 81 and a half by 240 a lot's huge um yeah 6591 browns line if you want information ferris team listed it you can contact them. You can contact whoever the hell you want. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I am not here to solicit people under contract. Too much work. Um, but yeah. Cool house. Take a look at it if you want. Give whomever you want a shout to take a look at it. Decently priced. Great opportunity for someone looking to grow an investment potentially um, or anything along those lines. Before I head out, though, if you guys could head down below and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content and hit the like button as well, because it's nice to know that people stay this long and, you know, enjoy the video. So that's it for me here today, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe out there. It's supposed to be a hot one as per usual. So stay cool. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.